Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Amid escalating tensions with China, Taiwan is forging ahead with the development of a 50-kilowatt laser weapon. Spearheaded by the National Chung Shan Institute of Science and Technology, NCSist, this initiative aims to integrate the laser onto CM-32 clouded leopard armored vehicles. The strategic objective is to counter potential threats posed by enemy missiles and drones, significantly bolstering Taiwan's defense capabilities. A defense official emphasized the formidable power of the laser, suggesting its versatility across various combat scenarios. This endeavor follows the unveiling of a low-power prototype of the vehicle-mounted laser weapon by the NCSS last year. With a fully functional prototype slated for completion by year-end, anticipation surrounds forthcoming trials and demonstrations. Against the backdrop of escalating tensions with China, Taiwan's military is under pressure to swiftly incorporate this laser system into its arsenal. This underscores Taiwan's resolve to safeguard its sovereignty and fortify its borders against mounting Chinese military encroachment. Taiwan's endeavors are not undertaken in isolation. International partnerships play a pivotal role. While specific collaborators remain undisclosed, the United States, renowned for its advancements in laser technology, could potentially assist Taiwan as one of its international friends. Prior to the 50-kilowatt laser project, the NCSist had explored the feasibility of directed energy weapons in tandem with air defense vehicles. The focus was on augmenting conventional systems, which, though effective, entail higher operational costs and susceptibility to saturation by large-scale drone assaults. The new laser weapon offers a cost-efficient remedy to this challenge, potentially thwarting China's drone tactics effectively. Despite the technological promise, the deployment of such sophisticated weaponry poses its own set of challenges. From exorbitant development costs and operational limitations stemming from atmospheric conditions to substantial energy requirements and intricate maintenance needs, the journey to operationalizing laser weapons is fraught with obstacles. Additionally, Taiwan's strategic emphasis on striking a balance between high-profile acquisitions and assets better suited for an asymmetric defense approach could influence the pacing and prioritization of the laser weapons program. As Taiwan navigates these hurdles, the development of the 50-kilowatt laser weapon signifies a significant stride in bolstering its national defense capabilities. Several nations, including the United States, Russia, China, and the United Kingdom, have recently announced initiatives to develop laser weapon systems, reflecting the growing prominence of directed energy systems in modern defense strategies. That's all for now. See you later.